All right, today is September 1st, 2022. Thank you for joining me. I am going to be trimming my beard, perhaps just more or less cleaning it up a little bit more, making some modifications. I'm approaching this beard trim a little bit differently than I am most of mine. I'm, I'm, I'm coming at it a little more open-minded because I don't know exactly what the end result is going to be. And usually I do. And if you go into a barber, he's gonna to wanna to know exactly what you want to end up with. And if you don't tell him, you may get something that you don't desire. Um, but that's a little bit different for me today. I, I do have a thing or two in mind, but you know, I might change my mind as I go along. So don't be surprised if you see me uh, kind of alter my steps a little bit, but I'll, I'll talk my way through it and let you know exactly what I'm doing as I go along. Now, not too recently, I actually trimmed my beard down to a three millimeter, which is pretty short for me. And if you go into a barber and ask for a short beard trim, a lot of times that's what they will give you is a three millimeter cut um, with, with some alterations in, in between as they fade it. But that's what I had it down to. A lot of you guys really like that. I did too. However, I, I, I've been letting it grow out and I really like this beard length when you look at it from when you look at my face from the front, and I like the shape of this right now. So I'm going to attempt to try to keep some of that, take off uh, a lot of this on the neck area, maybe streamline it. But like I said, it could always change. So as we hop into this, let me make a suggestion. One of the best things you could ever do when it comes to trimming your beard is investing in a beard bib. Now this is made by Beard King. There's a lot of different uh, manufacturers out there, but I will put an Amazon link for this down below. They're very inexpensive, but they're extremely handy because it will allow you to keep your workspace clean. All right, so I think it's absolutely necessary. This just uh, unzips, unfolds, pretty much just falls out of the pouch. And then you have these suction cups down at the bottom. You attach it to the mirror in front of you, and then you take these Velcro straps that are at the top, right here, put this around your neck, and you apply them in the back, throw this over the side. I need to adjust my beard bib a little bit. I think I need to put this a little bit higher. It'll give me a little more room to work with. All right, there we go. Okay, so I have my Brio Beardscape, all right? I'll put a link for everything I'm using down below. Uh, Brio Beardscape, and I'm gonna start off by eliminating some of what I see on the neck here. Uh, Cause I just think, I just think I need to take it down. I'm gonna try it. I hope I don't screw this up. Guys, I do actually mess up my beard trim sometimes. I just try to make sure I get all the kinks worked out before I make a video. In this case, I don't know, we'll find out. So I'm going to try to go along the jawline. I'm gonna to try to follow the jawline on this one and cut a little bit higher. Um, starting at right below, right below the jawline, the jawbone right here. And then following the natural line, bringing this just as a little bit hot. No, looks a lot to me, but this is what I wanna do. So I'm kind of getting an idea of where I want it. And I'm just gonna start trimming that way. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna turn it on to the highest revolutions that this offers, which is 7,000, okay? I have this closed all the way. You can open it or close it. I'm gonna close it all the way. Now I'm gonna start, start going down the line here. Can I use my comb? Maybe. I'm gonna try it. Let's see what happens. If it works for me, maybe it'll work for you. Yeah, there we go. That looks better already.
All right, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Don't know if you'll see it as well. I have a lot more, I think I had this cut unevenly on the other side. So it's gonna take off a little bit more. It took off quite a bit. So I'm gonna go under here and then I wanna even that out, line it up. I don't normally start with the neck. But I really wanted to get this out of the way. So now I'm gonna go up against the grain, clean it up a little bit. All right, how's that looking? Looks pretty high. But I really wanted to take it back. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick a guard. All right, now I'm to a three millimeter. Yeah, that looks a little better. That's what I wanted right there. Now I'm gonna turn back around to the six millimeter, apply that again. Kind of just come down, clean this up. But I'm gonna stay out of the goatee area. I'm gonna stay above the mustache and come down the side like this. I'm not gonna push in too much. I'm gonna stay above the mustache. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hit this area right here. Okay, because this area right here is so thick, I'm gonna try a nine millimeter on it. I'm gonna see what that does first. My eyes, I tell you what, older I get and it's happening so fast it's hard to see things okay I'm gonna go down I'm gonna hit the goatee area with the grain try and decide if I want to go to six million millimeter or not Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that for the time being. And now I'm gonna take the guard off. I'm just gonna try to clean up the bottom here, even it all out. Without really taking off any length. Okay, got a few strays right here. Okay, now I gotta figure out what to do with the mustache. How's this look so far? See, I'm so not used to my, my line being that high. That's really strange to me. Not so sure what I think of that. What I did not do is I did not wrap it down underneath the jaw. I wanted to keep a little bit of density right here so that as it grows out, um, it just gives it a, a nicer look, I believe. But 
let me hit the uh, let me hit the mustache area now. I think I'm going to use. Let me go straight in with the six millimeter, which I don't think is going to do anything. I'm gonna go straight in here, or at least try. I don't know. Maybe I'll go down. Oh yeah, I took off something. That's six millimeter. I I'll tell you what, man, my mustache really grows fast. Okay, but I like the I like that it took off a little bit of bulk. What I want to do now is kind of kind of just go along, along the lip line. It's always good to keep a bore bristle brush, <laughs> bore bristle brush handy, especially when you're trimming the mustache. Another thing I like to keep handy is a pair of scissors that's made especially for, if I can get it out of my drawer, especially for, for mustaches. Even though I use that trimmer, I like to go back with a, uh, a pair of scissors. They're real small like that. Okay, so, I don't know. Did I go too high in the sides? Well, I'll tell you what, I, I kind of feel like it, maybe, to some degree, but, you know, you hate to sound like you doubt yourself a little bit, but like I said, I'm, I'm just kind of playing around. Let me, let me clean that up a little bit. I don't want to do too much. Just tightening it up a little bit. So, there you have it. That's what I've done. So that's a lot different than I normally do. I, I don't normally go this high. What do you guys think? I'll, let me go back over the steps with you again. What I did was I started off with the neckline. I followed the jawline, which I normally take it from the ear to the top of the Adam's apple. I just wasn't liking that look anymore. I wanted to try something different. So I just followed the jawline, used my comb to establish that line so I wouldn't get off track. And it's pretty even on both sides, even if I feel like it might be a little too short. And then I took a three, three millimeter guard on this and went down on the side, just, just on the side, one pass. Not one pass, but I mean, only one strip right here. And then I took the six millimeter guard and I stayed above the mustache line and out of the goatee area to do this area right here. But I did not wrap it underneath the jaw. And then I used the, what was it, nine millimeter? 10 millimeter, nine millimeter? I'll have to go back and look, but I'll put it on the screen to write downwards. And then I use a six millimeter guard to go in on the mustache up here. I trim the mustache less, uh, lip line and then I use the mustache scissors to, to follow up. And then I just went down like this to, to tighten it up. That's all I did. That's one of the quickest beard trims I've ever done on video. It still keeps looking nice. Oh, don't forget I did, I did tighten it up on the bottom here, you know, to kind of wrap things 
up and make it tidy. I like the way it looks. I do have a feeling maybe I took this a little too high, but uh, you know, it'll grow back out. That's really, I, I'm telling you guys, man, I, I, this was just playing around, this exper experimenting. I didn't butcher it. I didn't butcher it. I did, I did make it look nice. It all comes down to preference. So you guys will have to decide what you think you would like. If you think this will work for you. I can take this off and all my clippings are in the beard bib, not all over my sink and countertop. Now all I want to do is apply beard oil. This is Artius Man's Tinderbox beard oil. It's one of my favorite scents they have. It might be the fa my favorite scent altogether. Uh, it's a little bit on the thicker side than most oils. Oh, this stuff smells so good. It has a very light, smoky, very light, smoky scent. And then combined with, you know, like fresh cut wood. It's exquisite. I just, I just love it. I just love it a lot. So I'll take my comb, comb back out through it. And then I have Tinderbox Beard Balm. You can get a 20% discount at Artemis Man by using my code GREG20. And they have a lot, they have a lot to choose from. And you just can't go wrong with Artemis Man. And one of my favorites, one of my top three favorite beard product companies. The beard balm, the beard balm will keep everything tamped down. I like apply, apply the rest of it to my head. It's good for your skin. And I'll comb that back out. And um, that's it. Guys, I just got from Artius Man, I just got this body bar soap, the citrus scent. Is that what it's called? Citrus cedar scent. Whew, it's good. If they ever make that scent in a, in a beer balm and oil and butter, It'll be magic. All right, so what do you guys think? Let me know, leave the comments down below. Tell me if it helped you out. Tell me if you think this is something you might end up doing. One thing I, I let me tell you this, let me end this with this. One thing I liked about leaving this area a little bit longer was that because I'm middle-aged, I am developing a little bit of a gullet down here. And when I took everything down to a three millimeter and I had it a little bit shorter like this, it, uh, it kind of showed a little bit. I didn't like that. So by leaving this area longer, it kind of hides that. I'll go back later and shave all this and clean it up and do the cheek line and so on and so forth. I think I will do this though before I leave. Before I leave, let me do this. I'm going to take the two millimeter and I'm going to go up here and mow this down a little bit. Starting at the middle of the ear. The other side also. All right. I'll turn it around and put it on the one millimeter. I kind of left that out, didn't I? And I'll go to the top part of the ear. Do that. And I'll take that guard off and do it without a guard. I'll come up here and just kind of blend that in. And that gives it a little bit nicer look. Yeah. So there you have it. I've done, done several things today. I mean, this is, this is different for me than what I normally do. Yeah, how to even that out. Be careful doing that, guys. I mean, I'm used to it, but you gotta be careful when you do it. All right, so make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video, share it with somebody else, and hit the notification bell also. I hope that's helped. I hope you found it useful. Let me know. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.